CSGO has recently released a pretty interesting update filled with new skins, casual game mode changes, and sound changes. Originally, I was going to make a video about all the new things, but very quickly, I found myself extremely interested with the new sound part of the update. The main sound change is a new running low on ammo sound that has a P90-like reload tick to tell the player that their ammo is about to go out. The statistic per weapon is calculated with how much ammo is in a full magazine, so if you're on your last magazine that doesn't have as much as a full mag, you can expect to hear the sound earlier than you're used to. An easy way to remember when the sound happens is that it starts the second bullet after you fire once your HUD bullets turn red. First, let's get some numbers out of the way. There isn't anything too crazy, but I decided to track when the new sound is triggered. The first row is a decimal that when multiplied with the full magazine size, and when rounded, will tell you which bullet is the first one fired to trigger the sound. The second row is the full magazine, and the third is the bullet number when fired that triggers the sound, as in second to last bullet if it has a 2. The range of the decimal is actually pretty large, ranging from 0.12 to 0.2, and you can expect that guns with more ammo will have running low sounds earlier. I couldn't find a formula to plug in that would find the exact bullet, so for most you can either memorize when it runs low or take about one fifth of the total ammo. An almost always working number is .18, but it fails in the highest and lowest guns. These in brackets are the amount of little pellets spread in one shot of a shotgun. Now, onto feedback. I have the opposite opinion of most in the community. Most people in general are currently hating how this update lowers the skill ceiling by taking away the skill of knowing when someone is running low on ammo, or how useless the sound is. Think of spraying through a smoke. Basically, this, in theory, when the sound triggers, lets people know on the other side when you're running low. Many absolutely hate this and call it annoying how it removes the complexity of Counter-Strike. First, I'll go into the reality of the situation, and then I'll be the devil's advocate and give yet another biased opinion in one week. Aren't I such a neutral person? I'll be playing an audio clip. Adjust your volume so that it roughly matches your in-game audio so that we can all get a better picture on the reality of this. Now that we have that in order, let's get to testing. First, can you hear other people's low ammo sound? Well, obviously. In fact, up close, it's quite loud. How ridiculous! But wait, this is very, very close. What happens if we back up just a tiny bit? Okay, bot, fire away! I don't know if it was just me, but I couldn't really hear if Bot Will was low on ammo at all. But maybe this affects the quieter guns more. Let's try this with one of the quietest guns in the game, the M4A1S. Again, I couldn't hear anything. It seems like the drop-off is very large, as I'm only 500 units away from my bot, and this is a perfect situation without music, smokes, or Russians raging in voice chat. Considering a simple smoke blocks out these sounds for me at closer ranges, I really can't see this having a large effect. Now in middle doors, you can hear the sound, but you're basically as close to a person as you can get without head-to-head -head gunfights where these sounds don't matter at all. And most people, if being sprayed through, would back away, not try to wait and count the bullets before charging in because, let's face it, in most situations like this, he would probably have a teammate with him, making most not even want to push and fall back. So already you can probably guess my obviously terrible opinion. I don't think this changes much at all. Let's look at the claim. It lowers the skill ceiling. This one is kind of weird, and though you probably don't want a really bad player explaining to you what takes skill and what doesn't, I do take the opposite stance of this claim. The main argument is that it lowers the skill ceiling because now you don't need to have a good memory of the weapons, and that rather you just need to listen for firing of others. Well, as I already said for most situations, the other player will not hear your running low sound, let alone charge you. Those that play smart angles that aren't very, very close, which are on most maps, can't hear these sounds they will most likely still need to have their skill on when to peek and fire back on someone spraying. I believe, rather, this helps a lot for the new players learning about conserving their ammo more. It seems like in this update, with more XP boost for lower players and only needing two levels of XP to play matchmaking, they're back to letting newbies get into the competitive side of Counter-Strike probably because of Prime, and are trying to help them with this. Though it's probably not needed for everyone to hear the sounds as again, almost every time the enemy won't hear it, it is a helping gesture to those that just want to learn the basics of the game. Yes, the sound is pretty damn loud, but it's a pretty large warning sign and something that could mean your death. In short, I don't believe this update is bad. Like, at all. The sound doesn't seem to have much of an effect in specialized testing that gives clear audio, let alone in real games with a lot more noise. Rather, this is to give a helping hand to those eager to play real Counter-Strike that are new. 